Welcome to Bless Your Rank. My name is Matt, and today we are ranking fast food fried chicken. Just the southern ones. I don't know if any other ones exist, and if they do, they shouldn't. They should just be shut down right now. You have no business serving fried chicken if you're not from the south, period. So on today's episode, there are three qualifications that each restaurant must meet before I can eat their chicken. Number one, they must have at least 500 locations. That's a lot. Numero dos, you must have a drive-thru. That's what makes it fast food fried chicken. I wanna stay in my vehicle at all times. I wanna get crumbs everywhere as I try to eat a drumstick and drive down I-65. Number three, fried chicken means the bone goes in. Some of you are probably already getting mad because you think that I'm not gonna include places like Zaxby's and Chick-fil-A and Guthrie's and Raisin Cane's and you're right because those are chicken fingers and it's not fried chicken. Have you lost your mind? I'm gonna take away your Southern card. Three things I'm looking for in this fried chicken. Number one is the flavor because obviously it's taste test competition. It's important that it tastes good. That's, that's how competitions like this work. Number two, I'm looking for crispiness. Now I know that some chicken can be extra crispy and some chicken is just kind of soggy. Good chicken somewhere in the middle, I believe. You should have some kind of bite. You shouldn't be biting into soggy chicken. Something happened in the kitchen if your chicken is soggy. Number three, happiness. Does this chicken make me happy? And all chicken makes me happy, so all of them already passed the test. We're looking for flavor, crispaliciousness, and happiness. You should also note that all types of chicken that I will be eating will be dark meat because that is a superior form of chicken. In dark meat, uh, a certain protein called myoglobin is found. Uh, within myoglobin is zinc, uh, riboflavin, iron, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, basically a fried Flintstone vitamin. This is basically uh, better for you than kale. It's probably a disclaimer right now at the bottom of your screen that says Matt is not a licensed physician, and that is 100% accurate. I should also warn you that I'm a trained professional and you should not try this at home unless you're really hungry and by all means just go right ahead. Testing number one comes from the great state of Kentucky. It is Colonel Sanders' very own KFC Kentucky Fried Chicken. This is the original, not the extra crispy. Who gets the extra crispy from KFC? You do? Monster. Here's the thing with KFC. It was like the fried chicken of the Mitchell household growing up. As I got older, I realized it's really not that great. Uh, and I feel like KFC's in the middle of some kind of like midlife crisis thing right now. It seems like every week they've introducing some kind of new chicken product. Just, just make chicken and biscuits, KFC, and calm down. Let's dig in here. Oh no, that's a, that is a greasy piece of chicken. Mm. <laughs> Finger looking good. It's just grease, it's really not that good. I'm not sure what happened here. Missing some breading. This is just barely hanging on. I tell this thing's super greasy, which is not necessarily a bad thing. KFC's original recipe, 11 herbs and spices. It's apparently a secret and they won't tell anybody. Uh, not that anybody's like asking for it, that I'm aware of. Let's just, let's just bite in here. It's good chicken. It's definitely juicy, which is what you want. It's what you usually get dark meat for. Do the order of the white meat, chicken. I don't know what, what they're doing with their lives. Not a lot going on, I feel like maybe there is 11 herbs and spices, but all I taste is pepper. I mean, it's just okay. Anybody that says that KFC is the best fried chicken out there has never had any other fried chicken. Uh, I'm just gonna, just gonna go straight breading here. It's okay. Not great, okay. Could be crunchier. And I need, KFC needs something in between extra crispy and this, extra crispy implies that this is already crispy. This is not crispy. Another benefit to having the crispies is that they should be falling off your chicken. And if you've got mashed potatoes and gravy, then you kind of just funnel those crispies over into the mashed potatoes and gravy, mix them up real good. It's like a noodle side dish that I've created. It's crispy taters. Well, there's grease everywhere, and I don't have a napkin. Oh, man. Oh, thank you. In conclusion, KFC is fried chicken, and it is available and it, um, that's about it. That's all I can say to you. If you don't have anything else, it will do. Uh, it's much better than starving to death. I'm gonna go ahead and plant my flag here in Grease Mountain. Competitor number two from the state of Louisiana, Popeye's Chicken, Popeye's. Bum, ba, da, bum. Okay, all right, Popeye's. High expectations here, don't let me down. I like how neatly packed Popeye's boxes are. Do you see that? 
KFC gave me a suitcase. Oh, so I can go ahead and tell you the crispiness here is on point. We got all the crispies falling around everywhere. That's what you want to see. I'm excited about this. But man, look at that crispiness right there. Are you, are you getting that? I can stare at this all day. <laughs> here we go. Yo, that's a piece of chicken. This makes me so happy. KFC's chicken is a little bit juicier, um, but that's because, you know, after they fry it, I think they just pour grease on top of it. Popeye's chicken still is the right amount of juiciness. It's got that crispy uh, outer layer, just the right amount of seasonings in it to where you're still tasting the chicken. It's, it's perfectly done chicken. I do not regret any of the things I said towards Cali on the back porch picker. Just the breading here and the skin. Look at that. I wish I had some potatoes right now. Surprised to no one, Popeyes knows exactly what they're doing. This is a hard case for any other fried chicken competitor here today. I'm gonna have to be absolutely blown away for someone else to beat this. It is uh, not even fair to put it on the same table here as KFC. Contestant number three originated in the great state of Texas. It is none other than Church's Chicken. Of the competitors today, I will go ahead and say that Church's is the one that I have had the least amount. Now there was one very close to my apartment in college which I ate at uh, pretty regularly because it was close and it's cheap and those are two very important things when you're in college but they're a little slow sometimes. There's a really good chance that an order I placed in 2007 is about to be finished any minute now. First impression, this looks like it was underneath the gas station warmer. There's just nothing bad about gas station chicken. And this looks like some gas station chicken. So the crispiness of the chicken, I think it would be there. This is like two different textures of chicken. Like we tried frying it one way down here, and then up here we tried another method. I'm just gonna dive in here. Not quite sure what to expect. Why are there two different layers of crispiness? The top part was soggy like KFC and the bottom was like Popeyes. Is Church's the love child of KFC and Popeyes? I feel like this is gonna turn into an episode of Mari. Uh, so the meat of the chicken is juicier than Popeyes. And it's, it's flavorful. Whatever they marinated, it marinated the chicken in really good. But the texture of the outside of the chicken is like hit or miss. Not getting much crumbly goodness off of the chicken. It's not bad. And you consider the price of it. I think this two piece and a biscuit at um, churches, they actually pay you to take. Let's go ahead and try this the outside. Just the, okay, well I'm getting a little bit of the crispiness there. It's just hit or miss with churches. I don't know what's going on. I feel like I've got five different pieces of chicken in just these two right here. You hear that crunch? It's there. This was a surprising entry here. I was not expecting this. So, important lesson, don't judge a book by its cover or fried chicken by its 10 different layers of crispiness. This is good. This is weird, this defies all logic. Is it better than Popeyes is the real question right now. And I think that based on the inconsistency in the exterior of the chicken, which is the most technical term that I've ever used on Blush Your Rank, I, I don't feel that I can place it above Popeyes. Planting my flag in this here chicken, and I'm going to say that it is in second place, close behind Popeyes, and uh, several miles ahead of KFC. Our fourth and final competitor hails from the state of North Carolina. It's none other than Bojangles famous fried chicken and biscuits. As fans of Bless Your Rank may recall, Bojangles won the biscuit ranking uh, where we had seven competitors. I had a lot of biscuits that day. Um, they had to resuscitate me afterwards. Chicken, though, was not part of that competition. It is today, though. So they kind of package this like KFC, and by that I mean they just take a giant box, they throw everything in it. Yeah, I mean, it kind of has like the a slightly greasier, like Popeyes type exterior here, which means that the crispy goodness is not gonna come like flaking off either. So that exterior is deceiving. That is very crunchy. Oh, that was a happy dance there. 
and then uh, you get some spices. There's some spices right underneath that layer. Like you can kind of see some remnants of the spiciness there. That red, uh, maybe that's some cayenne pepper or something mixed in there. But you, you get it. It's not, it's not overwhelming. And this is not the spicy chicken. This is just, we got the standard chicken at all these places. But even the standard chicken at Bojangles has some spice to it. This is good chicken. This, this leaves like a heat in my mouth that I like. Oh wow, that crispiness there. I really don't know. I, I don't. Hold on. This is very scientific. The conflict in my heart right now is I know how good Popeyes is. And just, I know I'm focusing just on the fried chicken here today and not the overall experience of the chicken places. And I realize that I'm just stalling right now. Y'all, I realize that Bojangles biscuits won the fast food breakfast biscuit challenge. And I just want you to know that after trying these four types of fast food fried chicken all at the same time, this opened my eyes to several things. How good church's chicken could be and that maybe Popeyes is not the best fast food fried chicken available right now. Because I think that Popeyes is not quite as good as Bojangles fried chicken. That shocks me a little bit. Also, this may hurt my relationship with the cashier at Popeyes. Um, if you're watching this, just know that I'm sorry and I still very much appreciate the extra biscuit that you put in my two-piece meal. Bojangles has Basically, it checked off everything on the list here. It has the flavor that none of the other ones have. It's got a little bit more of a spice in it. Crispiness, it's there. It's not quite as crispy as Popeyes, but it makes up for it with its flavor. The third one, I involuntarily, it made me do the happy dance. The tape is there. You can go back and watch me do that dance over and over again. Now, what I learned today is that Church's is better than I thought it was and it confirmed that KFC is garbage chicken. All these other chickens are superior to KFC in every way. Bojangles tastes the best, it has the crispiness, it made me happy. Popeyes is very close second. Church's is a surprise third. KFC makes me sad. In fourth place, KFC. In third place, Church's chicken. In second place, and runner up, Popeyes Louisiana Kitchen. And in first place, the grand champion, Bojangles Famous Chicken in Biscuits. All right, I noticed that there was some biscuits left over in these boxes. I'm gonna go ahead and eat all of these now and uh, just make a giant mess and maybe pass out, I don't know.